it's time for another story. So today I'm going to be reading The Bad-Tempered Ladybird by Eric Carle. It's a really beautiful book. It's from the creators of The Very Hungry Caterpillar. Uh, the book is about the bad-tempered ladybird, which picks a fight with every animal it meets. But each time the ladybird decides, oh, you're not big enough, and flies off. After a whole day of being bad-tempered, the ladybird realises that life is so much better when you are kind. So let's have a read. The Bad-Tempered Ladybird It was night and some fireflies danced around the moon. At five o'clock in the morning, the sun came up. A friendly ladybird flew in from the left. It saw a leaf with many aphids on it and decided to have them for breakfast. But just then, a bad-tempered ladybird flew in from the right. It too saw the aphids and wanted them for breakfast. Good morning, said the friendly ladybird. Go away, shouted the bad-tempered ladybird. I want those aphids. We can share them, suggested the friendly ladybird. No, they're mine, all mine, screamed the bad-tempered ladybird. Or do you want to fight me for them? If you insist, answered the friendly ladybird sweetly. It looked the other ladybird straight in the eye. The bad-tempered ladybird stepped back. It looked less sure of itself. Oh, you're not big enough for me to fight, it said. Then why don't you pick on somebody bigger? I'll do that, screeched the bad-tempered ladybird. I'll show you, it puffed itself up and flew away. At six o'clock, it met a wasp. Hey, you, said the bad-tempered ladybird. Want to fight? If you insist, the wasp said, showing its stinger. Oh, you're not big enough, said the bad-tempered ladybird, and flew off. At seven o'clock, it saw a stag beetle. Hey, you, said the bad-tempered ladybird. Want to fight? If you insist, said the stag beetle, opening its jaws. Oh, you're not big enough, said the bad-tempered ladybird, and flew off. At eight o'clock, it came across a praying mantis. Hey, you, said the bad-tempered ladybird. Want to fight? If you insist, said the praying mantis, reaching out its long front legs. Oh, you're not big enough, said the bad-tempered ladybird, and flew off. At nine o'clock, it almost flew into a sparrow. Hey, you, said the bad-tempered ladybird. Want to fight? If you insist, said the sparrow, opening its sharp beak. Oh, you're not big enough, said the bad-tempered ladybird, and flew off. At 10 o'clock, it saw a lobster. Hey, you, said the bad-tempered ladybird. Want to fight? If you, insid, if you insist, said the lobster. It stretched out its claws. Oh, you're not big enough, said the bad-tempered ladybird, and flew off. At 11 o'clock, it bumped into a, into a skunk. Hey, you, said the bad-tempered ladybird. Want to fight? If you insist, said the skunk, starting to lift its tail. Oh, you're not big enough, said the bad-tempered ladybird, and flew off. At 12 noon, it spotted a boa constrictor. Hey, you, said the bad-tempered ladybird. Want to fight? If you insist, said the snake, right after lunch. Oh, you're not big enough, said the bad-tempered ladybird, and flew off. At one o'clock, it happened. It happened upon a hyena. A hyena. Hey, you, said the bad-tempered ladybird. Want to fight? If you insist, said the hyena, laughing eerily and showing its teeth. Oh, you're not big enough either, said the bad-tempered ladybird, and flew off. At two o'clock, it met a gorilla. Hey, you, said the bad-tempered ladybird. Want to fight? If you insist, said the gorilla, beating its chest. Oh, you're not big enough, said the bad-tempered ladybird, and off it flew. At three o'clock, it ran into a rhinoceros. Hey, you, said the bad-tempered ladybird. Want to fight? If you insist, said the rhinoceros, lowering its horn. Oh, you're not big enough, said the bad-tempered ladybird, and flew off. At four o'clock, it encountered an elephant. Hey, you, said the bad-tempered ladybird. Want to fight? 
If you insist, said the elephant, raising its trunk and showing its big tusks. Oh, you're not big enough, said the tempered, bad-tempered ladybird, and flew off. At five o'clock, it met a whale. Hey, you, said the bad-tempered ladybird, want to fight? But the whale didn't answer at all. Oh, you're not big enough anyway, said the bad-tempered ladybird, and flew off. At 5.15, the bad-tempered ladybird said to one of the whale's whippers, Hey, you, want to fight? But it got no answer, so it flew on. At 5.30, the bad-tempered ladybird said to the whale's fin, Hey, you, want to fight? But it got no answer again, so it flew on. At quarter to six, the bad-tempered ladybird said to the whale's tail, Hey, you, want to fight? And the whale's tail gave, a, gave the bad-tempered ladybird such a slap, it flew across the sea and across the land. At six o'clock, the bad-tempered ladybird arrived back where it had started from. Ah, here you are again, said the friendly ladybird. You must be hungry. There are still some aphids left. You can have them for dinner. Oh, thank you, said the wet, tired and hungry ladybird. Soon all the aphids were gone. Thank you, said the leaf. You're welcome, said both the ladybirds, and they went to sleep. The fireflies, who had been sleeping all day, came out to dance around the moon. Thank you.